Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are going to show you how to disable Windows Defender on your Windows. So Windows Defender is the antivirus provided by Windows which is inbuilt. So we are going to show you how to disable it and then we will show you how to enable it again. So first of all on your screen, uh, on the screen you can see two commands. You will have to copy the commands from the description down below. The first command over here disables Windows Defender and the second command is used to enable it again. So first of all I am going to copy this command, you can copy it from the description. Then you will have to right click over here on the start menu and click on PowerShell Admin. It says Windows PowerShell Admin. You can click on that and click on yes and you will see a blue screen which will pop up just like this. So if you don't have a start button over here, rest, uh, in the search bar you can write down PowerShell. You will see an application that looks like this and you can right click it and then run as administrator. So it will open up a similar window just like this. So the next thing right now I have copied the command. The next thing to do is paste it. So right click over here on the top bar, right click it, click on edit, click on paste. So you'll see the command is right here. I'm going to press enter now. Wait for 5 seconds. Alright, it's done. So as you can see, the antivirus on my system has been turned off. Here's the notification. It says the turn off antivirus protection. So you should always turn on the protection after your work is done but for whatever reason you are turning off the virus protection, just turn it back on after you are done with your work. So if you want to turn on your virus protection, just use the another command. I will go back to PowerShell, I will click on the up button, you can paste it from the description. I will change the true to false. That's it. So I will press enter and it's done. Just wait for it. If it doesn't refresh, just close the defender and open it again. So you can see the antivirus protection is back on and it is working perfectly. So I hope this helped. If you like this video, then click on the like button. If you are new to the channel, then click on the subscribe button to keep up with the latest content. And have a good one.